parkour. He's joined yeah, by yeah. some athletes at Riverwalk this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, Linda, have, before today, have you ever heard of parkour? I've heard of it, but I did yeah. not know what it was. I thought it was like parcheesi or pinochle or something <laughs> yeah, <right>. like that. <laughs> exactly. I, I, is, it like a, is it like the game of sorry? Is it, yeah. Oh, uh, I is love it the game of sorry. Um, hey, you know, I didn't hear of it until about two or three years ago when it exploded on YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of casting calls in L.A. for parkour stuntmen and like commercials and whatnot. Well, it's something that's really picked up, especially even here in the Central Valley. There's been multiple groups getting together, uh, really picking up this trend. With me this morning are a couple guys that are really uh, hardcore about it, if you will. i got Ken and Christian with me. Guys, you've been doing parkour for a few years now. You actually started Central Valley Parkour, Christian. Yeah. Uh, Ken, I wanted to talk to you first really quick. When you're first getting into parkour, you said you were overweight. It really helped you get in shape. It's something that a lot of stuntmen are like experts at in Hollywood. What made you get so much into it? What, what, did, what attracted you to it? Well, for me, it was really kind of a mix of losing weight because uh, it really burns calories really quickly and uh, the adrenaline rush, really, because uh, you're getting out there and you're finding your own limits. You're being able to test yourself and you're able to find out. And you, about on limits, I asked you earlier off camera if you had any, like, any serious injuries. It looks really dangerous. You said actually it's, injuries are pretty rare. Yeah, they're very uncommon because it's all about knowing your limits and knowing, uh, you know, what not to do, basically. Uh, can you kind of, what's kind of like parkouring 101? I mean, sure, when you start any new uh, sport or, or movement, if you will, you kind of got to learn the basics. What are oh, some yeah. of the basics? Uh, well, the first one that almost anyone learns right off the bat is the standard and safety vault. Um, you want me to demonstrate? Yeah, it? demonstrate right. it. Let's go, Ken. All right, so this is a safety vault. As he does it, Christian, can you kind of walk us through what he's doing? Um, he's just gonna, you know, put his hand down and then put his, his outside foot down and then swing his inside one through. And that's basically just a simple vault to get over low objects okay. really quickly. Now he's saying this is the standard vault. Okay. <laughs> you guys make my back hurt just watching you. Christian, can you show me something that, that you kind of, you've been doing this for a few years now. Can you kind of show me just uh, a basic move? Um, yeah, sure. I'll show you the Kong. Okay. This called is it? Ken, is this called the Kong? Is that what he said? Yeah, this is Kong ball where you're basically going to be putting both hands out in front of you and letting your legs pass through in between <laughs> your hands. Yeah, did his feet even touch the table? No. Wow! Wow! I want to. I, I want you to show one more thing. These, these guys are like just uh, they're like cat-like, and they said there's a comment. Climb up that just like you did earlier. You climbed up that earlier and, and grabbed a hold of the beam. You made it look so easy. Just do it, Ken. You made it look so easy a while ago. We're just hanging out talking, and Ken just hops up here. He used to weigh, what, 280? And now he's doing this. Makes it look easy. And I hope, I hope this beam just is sturdy. Sis, uh, Parks and Rec in Bakersfield, please forgive us. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to toss back to you. But, hey, they're having what's called a jam, all right? It's a parkour jam, and that's this Saturday. What time, Christian? Uh, 11. 11 o'clock here at Riverwalk. All right, guys, I'm tossing back to you. Stuntmen in the making, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, really fun to watch. Yeah. Very cool. We are going to find out. He's joined by some pros at the Riverwalk in Southwest Bakersfield this morning. What's up? I like the I like the uh, Mario Brothers comparison. Also, kind of like Mortal Kombat or like Street Fighter or nice. something. It's we're like uh, we're learning about parkour. A lot of stunt artists in Hollywood these days are really into it. In fact, my first interviews for this segment are coming in right now. Uh, this is Christian. He's been doing it for a few years. Look at that. They make it look easy. Oh, and there's John. Look at it. Perfect landing, guys. It's like it's like gymnastics and like martial arts and like athleticism. Just tremendous athleticism all combined. Christian. Yeah. You, you helped start uh, Central Valley Parkour. I did. And they're having a, a jam here in Bakersfield. It's just like uh, guys that hang out and they meet up. Uh, just kind of, you kind of teach them Parkour 101. Kind of, if people are just not watching for the first time, what is it exactly? If you listen. Uh, parkour is quick and efficient movement, and that's about it. Understanding and learning your limits and going beyond them. Now, what inspired you to get into it? Uh, I saw a video when I was 12 of, of a guy named David Bell, the creator of the sport. And he was jumping from rooftop to rooftop in France, and I wanted to do that. <laughs> so. You're crazy. <laughs> although, although, although I was asking John, I was asking John and Christian earlier. It looks really dangerous. I my back hurts just watching you. But you say injuries are actually really rare because one of your uh, 101 uh, lessons, if you will, is you don't go past your limits, right? Uh, well, you can go past your limits, just not far ahead of them, because that usually ends up with you. Uh, 
anywhere between spraining an ankle and maybe breaking an arm. How so long have you done parkour? I've been doing it for about a year and uh, three months. And no bad injuries so far? Uh, just sprained ankles and stuff like that. Oh, I do that playing basketball all the time. <laughs> uh, so, so fill me in. What inspired you to get into it? Did you want, do you want to be like a stuntman someday or something? Uh, it was last year on summer vacation, and I uh, was playing this game called Mirror's Edge. <laughs> I was like, you know what, I'm really, really bored this summer vacation. I should start doing something. So I sit down and start playing, and I'm like, I know what I'm doing this summer. <laughs> and so me and my brother, we just started going to our local park and training it. Well, they, 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 they're, they're very cat-like, all right, and they say that's a big compliment. Uh, they, they jump from, it uh, seems like, limb to limb, and, and they hang on certain things and hurdle over things. I'm rambling now because I really it's hard for me to describe. It's parkour. It's, it's incredible athleticism, but uh, this meetup is this Saturday, 11 o'clock here at the Riverwalk. Just hanging out. Uh, it's totally free. If you would check, check them out, Central Valley Parkour, check them out on Facebook. Uh, Christian, again, helped start that group. John here is the organizer for this meetup. Uh, but if you can make it out, there's, they'll just be hanging out, kind of just talking about the athleticism that it takes and trying to teach people some moves and uh, it's a great way to stay in shape. Yeah. So if you want to check it out, you're interested. Linda, I think you should go for it. Maybe so. I have a couple <laughs> of questions. Do they ever involve skateboards or bicycles or anything? No, no, not at all. In fact, it's 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 exponentially more safe. I was telling them earlier because they said that they, their injuries are very rare. Uh, he had a, he, Christian had an injury recently, but it was on a skateboard. Tony Hawk, when skateboarding was first getting big in the 80s, ended up in the ER four times in one month, Ooh. and they thought his parents were beating him. Oh, my God. These guys, these guys don't have to worry about that. All right. And I see no <laughs> knee pads or elbow pads on those guys. Yeah, no, they, I think they, they, they push the limits, but they don't, they don't go beyond their limits. They, right. they really stress being safe. Perfect. Josh, thank you yeah. so much. Really, really Thanks, fun guys. to watch. Nick Tables yeah. doing flips. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. He's joined by some real athletes out there at the park at Riverwalk this morning. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. I'd never even heard of parkour until a couple of years ago, and I kept seeing it in commercials and whatnot, and, and casting agencies looking for parkour athletes. It's something that started back in, uh, uh, in the 1980s in France with military training. Uh, they're soldiers uh, just uh, trying to jump over things and, and get over obstacles in the fastest way possible. Well, now it's a very common trend for stuntmen in Hollywood to learn all these tricks, and now it's even caught on in the Central Valley, and there's a Central Valley parkour meetup here in Bakersfield on Saturday. Just guys getting together, uh, trying to teach what the parkour 101, if you will. I'm here with a few guys that are in Central Valley parkour. Uh, first of all, Ken, fill us in on kind of like parkour 101. Like, what are, what are some common moves? And it's actually helped you lose a lot of weight. You've gotten in shape. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, when I first started parkour just over a year ago, I was at 285 pounds, and I was pretty large, but. Um, over the last year, I've lost about 60 pounds uh, just by doing basic moves. Uh, all, all parkour is is just using your body to its fullest extent. And doing that, you work muscle groups that you're not usually used to working. And okay. so doing that, you know, it, it burns away the fat that you usually can't do just by doing, like, little crunches in the gym or anything like that. And, and Christian's right here. Christian started since, helped start Central Valley Parkour. You see this in a lot of video games, a lot of movies. Can you kind of fill people in on where they might have seen this? Um... James Bond movies, uh, Casino Royale, uh, if you play video games, Assassin's Creed, and Mirror's Edge. Um, there's The Takers, which is a bank robbery movie that came out in 2010, I believe. Um, is there anything in particular that inspired you to get started in it? Um, besides the video of David Bell, not really. Um, I've always been fascinated with climbing stuff, and this is just a natural evolution. So. You know, I like Rambo. You ever watched Rambo? Are you yeah. too, are you too oh, yeah. young? Okay. No, no, no. Rambo did a lot of crazy parkour. Maybe that's not parkour. I don't know. But he jumped from a cliff onto a pine tree, okay, <laughs> and only w walked away with a scratch. John, kind of fill people in on, uh, on why you think this is good for the community. Uh, well, most kids, when they get bored, they go out and they sometimes vandalize things. Kids, uh, they also go out and do parkour like we started. Um, the community sees it in a lot of different ways. They either really like it, they love how the kids are getting in shape and stuff, uh, or they think that we're just climbing around being idiots and vandalizing <laughs> stuff. Uh, and that's understandable because they don't know exactly what it is, but, you know, if they ask 
what we're doing and we explain it. Hopefully they'll. We'll like go it. ahead and show them really quick as we close out this shot here. Go ahead and show us uh, some some parkour moves, guys. Again, tomorrow is the big meetup, uh, 11 o'clock on Saturday. You're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah go ahead. I'm gonna close this out. Keep, keep, I'm gonna keep talking. You guys go ahead and do your thing. Uh, but they're they're very cat-like guys. If you want to meet them up with them, you can uh, check them out on Facebook, Central Valley Parkour on Facebook. Again, 11 a.m. on Saturday. If you want to learn more about the sport, guys, I'm tossing it back to you. <laughs> I don't think we saw you try to learn. Yeah, that right. Sort of Get out of here. Uh, if you have a trampoline, I might be able to do a flip, but without a little uh, a little bounce mechanism, there's no way. All you have to do is step <laughs> up onto the seat, and then the table, and then the seat. Come on, do that as we uh, wrap you yeah. up. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. There it is. Woo! I knew you could do it. Yes. Woo! I knew you could do it. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. The parkour champion, Josh uh, Helmuth, man, live at Southwest Bakersfield. Thank you so Future much. Future stuntman. Absolutely. They're like little spider monkeys.